everybody, so here is Black Angel again and I'm here to talk to you about ISFJs. Uh, so with this video we're closing the Alpha Quadra. Uh, and the Alpha Quadra is uh, uh, the way that Socionics uses to describe uh, the types of that share uh, introverted sensing, extroverted intuiting, extroverted feeling, introverted thinking as uh, their base, as their valued functions, so, so they share the same functions. Uh, back to our MBTI anyway, ISFJs are introverted sensing dominants. So what does it mean to be an introverted sensing dominant? An introverted sensing dominant is deeply and strongly in touch with their body and with their physical experience. So they have the ability to know their body perfectly and they're able through this understanding of their personal physical experience to also interpret and correctly the, the physical experience of other individuals. Um, so yeah, they basically do not need the advice of doctors because they know themselves uh, what the best solution is uh, in any specific in any situation that requires uh, medical help and this is one thing but having such a strong uh, connection to their physical physical sensations and to their physical experience it also means that they have a strong connection with their perceptions of the world around them so they are the type that is most adept and most likely to create art from their physical experience uh, and from their sensations, from their perception actually of things. Uh, if extroverted sensing is more a sensation matter, so um, perceiving, the, uh, grasping what the external wor world objectively is, introverted sensing is more about perception, so my personal idea of what the world of what the, what the external world feels is. Uh, they're also able to understand the physical and the physical experience of others in this sense. Uh, so what else can I say about them? Interior sensing in the first position is a, a strong focus on health. So health matters. Uh, this means that they have the ability to create health and causeness, relaxation, comfort and, and calm for people around them. So they are the kind of person that when you meet them, you will be uh, surrounded by this kind of cloud of calmness, uh, of uh, peace uh, that embraces you and drags you down. And it actually makes you feel physically relaxed to be around nice of Jay. Um, because they are so calm and they have that extroverted feeling that we will see in a moment that shares and spreads uh, their internal state. Uh, they are constantly creating causes for others. Uh, they, that's what they are. They are this comfort and this peace. Uh, they are this uh, atmosphere of relaxation for themselves and for others. Uh, that's their dominant function, and as you know, the dominant function is uh, what creates the personality that we are. An ISFJ is the kind of person that can enter a room, see that a person is cold, and uh, automatically start doing things to fix the problem. So they can cover the person with a blanket, bring them a, a, cup, of, a cup of coffee uh, or a cup of tea so that they can warm their hands. Um, they can change the temperature in, to, in the room to suit uh, or adapt it to the person, person's needs. Um, they have this ability to take care of others uh, um, 360 degrees uh, all day through non-stop. Uh, so they can take the person and actually wash them if they're very tired, uh, take them in a, in, a, in a tub and create a switch on candles uh, and create a cozy atmosphere so that they can massage this per the person. They, they are very, very caring in that sense. Uh, and they're able to, to create uh, this kind of feeling. I like to call them walking spas because I haven't seen this, said that yet. They actually are walking spas because they have this ability uh, to figure out what it is that the person needs, physically speaking, and create that. They're the, the kind of type that 
um, makes you find on the table your favorite cake, your favorite plate, your favorite dish, and they're going to to cook for you without even you realizing that they're doing anything. Um, they're introverts, so they're not very intrusive uh, in an explicit kind of way. Uh, they're more subtle in this sense. Uh, they will do it without making it weight uh, on your shoulders or make you notice too much. Uh, if you stop at some point and if you have a relation, if you're in a relationship and you don't know the type of your mate and at some point you figure out that this person is doing everything physically for you, that they're cooking, cleaning the house, keeping, keeping everything uh, in the right temperature, that you find your favorite dishes on the table, your favorite fruit, your favorite everything all the time, then you're probably having to do with an ISFJ. And they do that through their second function, which is extroverted feelings. So they do that via creative, po creating positive emotional situations. So they are uh, very, uh, very interested and they want to create positive emotional atmospheres. Again, we're, again, we're having to do with sensors. So we're talking about um, creating positivity in the here and now, so in the immediate uh, situation. Uh, so they're going to be uh, the kind of person that uh, molds uh, the emotional atmosphere around them in a, into a positive atmosphere. Like I said, they're going to find the things that, that the person needs uh, to feel better and to be emotionally, to feel emotionally better. Um, they're also the kind of person that helps others feel involved in a situation, emotionally involved in a situation, to feel accepted. They, they are masters at shuttle diplomacy. Um, so anything that their dual, the ENTP, mistakes in matters of diplomacy and uh, empathy, like I said, they, they tend to lack empathy, uh, the ISFJ is able to fix uh, by walking, by subtly uh, doing things in such a way that the, per, the other person, they can even apologize for their dual. Uh, ESFJs can do that also, um, but ISFJs are masters at this. Uh, um, so, yeah, uh, ISFJs and their shuttle diplomacy, that's a very particular trait of ISFJs. Mm, their inferior function is the extroverted intuition. It means that, that they have difficulties seeing their own potential, seeing the potential, uh, how they could uh, harness uh, their, their, their own personal potential. So they need someone to actually show them what they're good at, to show them uh, what they can do and where they can go or uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, so they, they are very, uh, very weak in this sense. Uh, one example that I can make you is if uh, uh, an ISFJ chooses a university, for example, and starts going to this university and doing things that, uh, and at some point everything gets changed uh, and their plan uh, doesn't work because, for example, they fail a bunch of exams so they're not going to finish in the time that they had set for themselves, then their old plan uh, explodes and they do not know anymore what to do so they fall into stupor. And that's where they need extrovert intuition help. Uh, they need someone to help them uh, replan everything and restart um, their work so that they can achieve their goals. Uh, so that's that's something that they need help in. Um, and that's an uh, extrovert intuition inferior. Um, what else can I say about this function? I think this is pretty much everything I have about the extrovert intuition in the inferior position. Uh, extra, they're, they're not of self-esteem, is introverted thinking. So they are introverted thinking tertiary. What does it mean to be an introverted thinking tertiary? It means to have the need to understand everything, like I said, for the INFJs. Um, so ISFJs also need to understand everything. So if they don't understand something, they're going to start feeling feel stupid. Um, and they need someone particularly patient explaining them because again we're having to do with sensors. They do they do not grasp things intuitively. Intuitively, they need to go through it via their experience and logic by itself. So and they're not using the grounded logic. They're not using extroverted thinking. 
so they need to base themselves on their experience and on abstract logic, so syllogisms. So they need someone to have the patience to actually follow them in their, uh, in their understanding of things, uh, uh, like the ENTP can do. Uh, so, yeah, this is um, TI in the second position, the need to understand everything. In active self-defense, they will claim they understood everything. In passive self-defense, they will call themselves stupid and say they don't understand anything anyway. Uh, that's how they, they normally react. But their final goal is actually to understand things. Uh, and like I said, if they don't, they're going to lose self-esteem. Uh, so they, they need to find the strength uh, to sit there and just keep going. Uh, just keep trying. You're gonna do it. You can do it. You you have these instruments to do that. So if you're watching ISFJs, uh, so anyway, yeah, TI in the third position means that the person needs to understand everything, um, and they will want to. They also will want to. Mm, possible anagrams for ISFJs again, uh, anagram two. It works perfectly with them because they're so super caring. Uh, and around five because of what I just said. Um, mm, what else? Um, I think this too. I don't. I wouldn't add anything else um, because uh, yeah, they're pretty much. Uh, uh, they're pretty much this. I would go for uh, anagram. Uh, anagram 2 and anagram, anagram 5, yeah. So, with whom do ISFJ get, ISFJs get along? Obviously with ENTPs, but they're not so so commonly found in, in, uh, in society, ENTPs, are, they're not so frequent. Um, they also get along with, well with ESFJs, obviously, and with the INTPs. Uh, other types could be ISTJs, and possibly INFJs. Um, one thing that I feel like saying about them is that those that I met up to now tend to be a little bit isolated. So they're more isolated than INFJs, or they're more isolated than other introverts, even more than ISTJs, uh, than ISTPs, sorry, than ISTPs and the ITJs. Um, I can't tell why. I think it's mostly because they like drawing, they like painting, they like doing all those things that require silence uh, and isolation. Uh, so they tend to be pretty isolated, but they're not antisocial. Actually, they were, they need people, so they will have a, a bigger storm of people around them than. Uh, um, other types do than the types that I mentioned, um, but they are also quite isolated in some ways. Uh, they enjoy their solitude because because of their focus on whatever it is that um, they're focusing on with their interest sensing. Um, they are in constant search of someone to take care of. That's something that they need. They actually need to take care of someone. Um, that's their purpose in life, basically. Having someone they can take care of. Um, physically, in that sense. Now, as far as I understand, they're not particularly good at uh, finding resources or procuring resources or something. Because their extra thinking is very, very weak and they're not good at that. Um, but they are they are in need of taking care of someone, uh, physically speaking. So that's, um, that's, that's what they are. I think this is pretty much everything I have about ISFJs uh, and I will close this here and I will come back soon with uh, some other types uh, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.